Good morning, everyone, and welcome to St. James and St. Brendan's Anglican Church in Port Colborne for Thursday, April the 8th. Let us take a moment to bow our heads so we can prepare our hearts for this morning's prayer. Christ has been raised from the dead, and the first fruits of those have fallen asleep. Great is the Lord and worthy of all praise. Amen. Alleluia. Praise and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honor, power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelations. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God, the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O Sovereign of the nations. Who shall not revere and praise your name, O Lord, for you alone are holy. All nations shall come up and worship you in your presence, for your just dealings have been revealed. To the one who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessings and honor and glory and might forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us praise and worship God who has called us here together. Let us celebrate God's majesty and delight in the wonder of God's love. Together we shall confess our sins and receive assurance that we are forgiven. As the scriptures are read, we can allow God's words to speak to us and ponder its meaning for our lives. In our prayers, we will give thanks to God's goodness. We will pray for others as well as ourselves, and we offer our lives anew in Christ's service. All this we do because we believe in the presence among us of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and in the mighty power of the Spirit, Holy Spirit. Hear the words of Scripture. If we claim to be sinless, we are self-deceived and strangers to the truth. If we confess our sins, God is just and may be trusted to forgive our sins and cleanse us from every kind of wrong. Spirit of God, search our hearts. Let us confess our sins to God. God of mercy, we have sinned against you and against others. We have sinned in what we have done and what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry. And for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, forgive us all that is past and raise us in a newness of life. Amen. Almighty God, who pardons all who truly repent, forgives your sins and strengthens you by the Holy Spirit keeps you in eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us rejoice in the rock of our salvation. We sing to you, O God, and bless your name, and tell of your salvation from day to day. We claim your glory to the nations. We praise to the ends of the earth. Today we will be listening to Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God all my life long. Do not put your trust in princes, in, a, in mortals, in whom there is no help. When their breath departs, they return to the earth. On the very day their plans perish. 
Happy are those who help in the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who have bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the strangers. He upholds the orphan and the window, widow, but the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts, chapter 3, verses 11 through 26. While he clung to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the portico, called Solomon's portico, utterly astonished. When Peter saw it, he addressed the people, You Israelites, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety we made him walk? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors has glorified his servant, Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he had declined to release him. You rejected the Holy and Righteous One and asked to have a murderer given to you. And you killed the author of life whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. And by the faith in his name, his name itself has made this man strong, whom you see and know. And the faith that is through Jesus has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. And now, friends, I know that you acted in ignorance. As you did also, as did also your rulers. In this way, God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, and return to God, so your sins may be wiped out, so that the times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Messiah appointed for you, that is Jesus, who must remain in heaven until the time of the universal restoration that God announced long ago through his holy prophets. Moses said, The Lord your God will raise you up from your own people, a prophet like me. You must listen to whatever he tells you, and it will be that everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be utterly rooted out of the people. And all the prophets, as many as have spoken, from Samuel and those after him, also predicted these days. You are the descendants of the prophet and of the covenant that God gave to our ancestors, saying to Abraham, And in your descendants all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And when God raised up his servant, he sent him first to you to bless you by turning each of you from your wicked ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hmm. The Benedictus. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, for you have come to your people to set them free. You have raised us up a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies 
and from the hands of all who hate us. You promise to show mercy to our forebears and to remind your holy covenant, to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath that you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteousness in your sight all the days of our lives. And you, child, shall be the called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way and give God's people knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of God, the dawn from on high, shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are worthy. You are worthy, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they were created, and they have your being. You are worthy, O Christ, for you were slain, and by your blood have ransomed us for God, ransomed us from every tribe, and people and nation and made us a royal house of priests to our God. To the one who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb be blessings and honor and glory and might forever and ever. Amen. Join me as we profess the faith of our baptism as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, commun the, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Make your ways known upon the earth, O God, your saving power among all peoples. Renew your church in holiness and help us to serve you with joy. Guide the leaders of this nation and every nation that justice may prevail throughout the world. Let not the needy, O God, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Make us instruments of your peace and let your glory be all over the earth. Lord of life and power, through the mighty resurrection of your Son, you have overcome the old order of sin and death and have made all things new in him. May we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, reign with him in glory, who with you and the Holy Spirit is alive, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful God bless you and keep you in his heart and mind, in his loving arms, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you have a blessed week.